I was the last person in America to buy a video camera. Uh, I did it many years ago when my kids were still kids. Today though, almost everything I own is a video camera. My camera is a video camera. My phone is a video camera. I have a video camera that's a video camera. This is the flip. They don't make it anymore because you can't make phone calls on it. My iPad may or may not be a video camera. My laptop definitely is a video camera right up there, but I've never used it. My GPS thing may or may not be a video camera. My first thought when I buy anything is how can I use this for golf? And video has obvious golf applications, but you have to be careful. I used to assume that my golf swing looked sort of like Ernie Els's. In fact, it looks like Miguel Angel Jimenez warming up. About six years ago, I went to Hot Sticks in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, there they have a video putting lab. And just by watching my putting stroke, by watching the putter head go back and forth and strike the ball, I learned a lot about my putting. And I realized that here, right here in my own house, I could do just about the same thing with all this video capability that I have. And in fact, I did. What I learned is that uh, I come over the top with my putter. And actually, I'd, I'd already known that. I come over the top uh, with every club in the bag. I also come over the top in bowling uh, and uh, probably walking my dog for all I know. So now I know what's wrong with my putting stroke. I've seen it from two different angles. And actually it's the thing that I always knew was wrong with my putting stroke. The challenge now is to fix it. And I'm going to wait for the next generation of video cameras to do that.